Hey folks, the last time we saw Moravis, she found a second wolf statuette, so we're gonna find the rest today. Your power is quite unlike other magic I've seen, Harding. Has coaxing it forth been difficult? It's actually easy. Maybe too easy? Actually, do you have tips on holding magic back? I know mental exercises to calm the mind, but if the issue runs deeper than... Great, I'll take them. Places between. Over there, another entryway, like the one that took us to that soulless memory. There, it's happening again. We're in another of Solus's memories. Remember last time? The past really can still hurt you. Glad you made it here safely. I didn't love our odds without you. Who, me? All right, everything's in place. We hit Algonan's island fortress tonight. This is our best chance to free the people he's enslaved. Get in, save as many as you can, and bring them back here to Sanctuary. Be fast and be safe. I'll meet you on the other side. Fenharal scouting ahead. For freedom! For the Dread Wolf! is testing his noble rebels against my stronghold. How courageous. Remember, these memories can hurt us. memories. Elganon sent his guards to attack the Dreadwolf's rebels. A powerful recollection. This day left its mark. You persist for naught. The people under my rule are not yours to plunder. More guards.
to see we all made it. Algonan's forces are making things interesting. You, keep moving no matter what. Free those slaves. We'll take everyone else and give the guards something to think about. We must be swift. Algernon is coming. Sola sounded frightened. Of Elgernon? Who wouldn't be? No sign of the key. There's always a way past an obstacle in the fade. Let's get that prison open. Okay, so the first memory we saw was back, um, I think, when we got Davrin. And Solus was sending spirits of disruption to attack Elgernon's fortress. And he ended up sacrificing them. I'm starting to think that maybe these memories are meant to be viewed in a specific order, and that was the last one. So this is Solus freeing his people, and we get to see that he's actually quite frightened of Elgernon, but I'm guessing that after fighting him long enough, um, and with that fear, that he started to compromise some of his morals, I guess, or his beliefs. Um, which is why that last one, which was our first one, so. Thank you. Thank you all. There's an alluvian nearby. We'll head there right away. Go. The Dreadwolf must be waiting for you. Elgernon approaches. Stop his guards. We need to buy time for the captives to get to safety. I will hold off Elgernon himself for as long as I am able. The vermin keep coming. Go. I will deal with that ragged wolf. One last push. the big asshole rant. Everyone we freed is safe in the crossroads. Without all of you, well, thank you. But can Elgernon find us here? He cannot. I have made sure of... Uh, Solus? Elgernon 
He's a powerful opponent. My apologies. It is of no consequence. What matters, my friends, is that today, all of us are free. I think that's it. The memory ends here. So once upon a time, the Dread Wolf was a savior to his people. I wish he'd just told us some of this. And now, all that's left is this fragment. Come on, let's go. On to the next one. Are all curiosity wisps as friendly as Manfred? Yes, indeed. But there is some danger if they become more sophisticated. There's the curiosity that leads one over a hill, and the curiosity that kindles a house fire. Is that where demons come from? Only one of their many origins, I'm afraid. Cathedral of Roots. When we first started, this was a safe place for spirits who joined our cause to find peace from the stress of battle. Now, I don't know. Not a lot of spirits use it any longer. Have they grown stronger, or has the fight against the Avernurus made demons of us all? Pelisson. So, young Lord Parvis joined the Shadow Dragons. What a small world we live in. You know Dorian? To Winter Mage's visit, young Parvis was sent over for a term by his father. Tremendous potential, but appallingly flippant towards the dead. And most other things. <laughs> yep, that's my Dorian. Now here's some splendid ethereal construction, crafted by the ancient elves, as Solus did the lighthouse. The Empty Forest, another note from Felison. This place used to be full of spirits who flocked to Solus's cause. When his ritual went wrong, when everything went wrong, he vanished, and the spirits stopped coming. Where are you, my friend? You stopped the Evanuris, but broke the world. Please tell me you didn't leave me to fix all this alone. Have I mentioned how much I love your conservatory in the lighthouse? You've done wonderful things with the plants. I'd thought their magic was dormant. I didn't actually do anything with them. They just... appeared? When I first set up, they were, uh, all dead. Or... or something. I left to go make a sandwich, and when I came back, they were everywhere. Ah. A confluence between a shift in the Fade and your subconscious? I'm gonna ask them, very gently, not to turn into demons and kill me. Over there. Another entryway, like the one that took us to that soulless memory. Another ancient elf. You're awake. How's your head? The guards really knocked you about. Uh, well, it's... Do you remember our mission? Gillanane's lab. The wolf sent us to infiltrate her testing grounds. Things didn't go perfectly to plan, but the wolf smuggled in help. A key. If you can fight, grab the key and we'll run for it. Just be ready for whatever the witch has in store. She thinks I'm one of Solus's agents. Ah, freedom. We'll move faster if we split up. 
See you ahead. Light. Be careful. Let us hope it's not so potent in a memory. Remember, these memories pack a punch. So Gillanane was experimenting, blight in the dark spawn. The blight infested her lab. The memory's not over. We need to fight our way out of here before Gillanane finds us. Wolf, you came for us. Your key was enough. This unnatural corruption demanded my personal attention. It is strong. It has already blocked the escape route I had planned. We will need another way to the surface. Let's all split up and find it. I will destroy what corruption I can. You must cut through these monstrosities before Gillanane unleashes something worse. Solar sounded rattled. Even then, the blight frightened him. This way, though. We'll just keep moving it. So easily distracted. You see boundless creation and choose to destroy it? Learn respect for the life that will succeed you. She's using the testing grounds against us. Time to go. Free! And faster than anticipated. Perhaps you and your allies warrant more study. We've got company. We broke through to Gillanane's prize specimens. The ancient Darkspawn in this memory looked familiar, almost as if... Maybe the Darkspawn we've been seeing aren't new. Maybe they're old. Here, 
The blessing you deny. Oh, help me! Ah! Damn! Kill the name, got her. Blood! I'm burning up! Look out! You would unleash a blight on this world and call it a masterwork. You, who are the most sensitive of us. All that I am belongs to the pursuit of creation. You chose to constrain yourself. I must climb to the heights only understood by gods. I go now to join them. Yes. You are greater than any of them. Please... help me. Come on. Be the god she needs. Help her. I am so sorry I failed you. There is only one way I can help you now. Wolf. This place and the corruption within it must be eradicated. No trace can be allowed to spread. Go. Your work here is done. There is no need for you to witness what I must do. It's over. Solus destroyed the lab, the blight that was here, and his agent. One of the first times Gilanane experimented with the blight, perhaps, but not the last. This fragment might tell us more. All right, we got the five statuettes. Let's head back to the lighthouse. I know. It doesn't make any sense, but it works. Wouldn't the connection to the Lyrium cause... The veil to rupture? Not if you're careful. Really, really careful. Rook, good to see you. Bellara was telling me about one of the artifacts she calmed. Her manipulation of the Hylic Spheres put some Circle Majors I know to shame. Oh, that's so nice. Really? Bellara, repairing the Illuvian network alone is worth a thesis. Have you run into anything like it before? Not at all. The principles are familiar, but the application, the finesse. Though admittedly, my interests lie more with the spirits. Look to Bellara for elven magic expertise. You were here, what, five minutes? And you had that thing fixed. And it's quite a complex mechanism. Well, thank you. That said, I've noticed you working at all hours on that artifact. Really? I don't think it's all hours. And you're either the first to wake, um... or you simply aren't sleeping some nights. Thank you, Professor, but I'm fine. Mostly. Hmm. You don't seem that certain. Well, when you're in the Fade, there's no sun or moon. So I tend to lose track of time, just a little bit. So, you sleep more regularly outside the Fade? Well, sometimes, maybe. But we're in Solus's old home. There's so much to learn. And we've time to learn it. But in order to do that, you must take care of yourself. He is right. That knowledge isn't going anywhere. Relax a little. Get some rest. 
You'll feel better and work better. Right. I'm not great at that. Relaxing, I mean, I think to myself, what if I do it wrong? Then it's three hours later and I'm even less relaxed than I was. Perhaps I can help you. With what? Relaxing? Yes, I can teach you some breathing exercises. The ones we show initiates. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Of course. We must look out for one another. And thank you too, Rook. Anytime. Okay, I am going to relax right away. But um, first, I had another question. I thought you might. I like how Emric just immediately starts mentoring everyone, like Harding with the plants and now Bellara, just firm yet gentle fatherly advice. And some notes between Emric and Bellara. Thank you for your notes, Bellara. You've discovered fascinating things about these artifacts. Thanks, Professor. I wish I knew more about the lighthouse itself. The ancient elves crafted a lot of places right inside the Fade, but this one's so calm. You really think it likes company? Yes, from the way the etheric flow bends to the pulse of this place. The lighthouse is shielding us from the stronger currents. Without it, we'd attract dangerous company in the Fade. Did Solus build this place himself? How old is it? So many mysteries. Speaking of which, wherever did this stain come from? Sorry, coffee spilled when an artifact went off. Let us begin a fresh page. So to wrap up for the day, let's check in on everybody else. You know, we have more comfortable rooms and basically infinite space, so why, uh... Why does the trained assassin prefer a quiet, unassuming spot with good choke points? Guess you just answered that question. Besides, I'm closer to the coffee. So the Wardens uncover a journal, it leads to a clutch of griffin eggs, and the damn things hatch. Is there a question in there? <laughs> Usually there would be. Guess I'm still stunned. Come on. You must have seen Stranger. Sure. But I wish I'd seen that. Speaking of, gotta do our daily check-in with the boy. If you want a more comfortable space, I'm sure there's empty rooms we haven't found yet. I'd rather be somewhere I can smell soil and plants. Familiar, you know? I do. Well, I think that's about it for the day. We've got some smaller things to do to clean up the quest log, so next time we'll take care of those on our way to meet Morgan. And how long has that flower been there? <laughs> <laughs> 